Hey guys, how's it going? It's Aiden from Bromine Complex here. Just doing a video on how to how I make my videos. I've gotten a lot of comments and uh, messages about, hey, how do you record? How do you set up your stuff? So I'm just gonna do a video and show you guys how I do everything. So basically, I do everything in three steps. Uh, number one, I set up all my stuff, set up the curtains, set up the drums, set up the camera. Number two is the recording part of it, how I position everything. Number th and number three is probably the most important part, the editing part, which I do on the computer and then uploading it to YouTube. So, um, in this video I'll be following those three steps and by the end you'll know how I do all my recording. Okay guys, here's step one, part one, which is hanging up the, the sheets on the, on the walls to make it, make videos look more professional so there's nothing distracting because as you can see if I didn't have them up like my older videos there's a lot of distracting stuff here but since I start putting them up I think the videos look a lot better so basically I just use a black bed sheet as you can see here and I attach these little cut up coat hangers the metal ones that you can bend just tie them on the ends of it and attach this to my shelf that I have in the garage and on the other end over here I have a little piece of string that has a knot tied on it a little loop in the end and uh, I attach this coat hanger to it right here and I attach it to the roof right here and to the bed sheet so this is a cheap way you can go to Bed Bath & Beyond 10 bucks get a cheap black sheet or a set of them even if you want to if you have multiple walls in your videos and it's a, just a cheap way to make your videos look more professional and make it so there's less distracting stuff in the background of your video okay guys here's step one part two so it's uh, setting up your drums. So you basically want to set up everything in the shot in the camera angle you have. So you can see all your drums and all your cymbals and you still have a good place where you can reach all of them. If you can't see any, any of them then you just move them to where you can reach them and uh, to where the camera shot can see them. Also you want to watch out for too much glare on the cymbals and the drum heads like over here in this area. Sometimes I have a little bit a little bit of glare or um, and you can try covering up the light that's above you or whatever lighting source you use in your videos to try and diminish the glare but it usually doesn't make too much of a difference it just makes the video darker and it doesn't look as good then and also you want to make sure that anything you don't want in your shot is out of the video so like my music stand here I usually have this out of my video but for now since I was practicing and whatnot I still have it here so I just move it out move it back and it would be out of the shot so yeah just Make sure everything's set up in the right way you want it. There's no glare or minimal glare. And everything you don't want in the video is out of the shot. Okay guys, this is step one, part three, which is the camera I use to record my video and the sound on my videos. So as you can see, it's a, it's a Panasonic Lumix HD camera. It's, it's not an expensive camera, but it's, it's, a, it's about a middle camera. And it does a great job. I'd probably recommend if you, this is like the cheapest way to record a video and it still sounds pretty decent, as you can tell from most of my videos. And basically, just set it up in the right position, which I'll go over later in the video, and it'll record everything. I totally recommend getting one of these, cheap alternative. And yeah, so this is how I record my sound and everything on my videos. Okay. So here is uh, step two, part one right here, or I guess it's the only part in step two really, which is how I actually record the videos. So as you can see, I have my tripod set up right here, which I put the camera on. And then I have it set up, here I'll put it on top, in a pretty good position where I can see all my drums, all my cymbals, and uh, there's no, when I have my videos, there's no white in the background or anything, don't have a music stand, so it's in a good position. And you want to make sure it's in a it's cl in a close proximity to the drum set because if it's not, if it's like all the way back here or something, then you're not going to get as good as good sound quality because it's far away and it's getting the room sound, not the actual sound of the drum. So basically, the closer you set it up to the drums, the more it's going to sound like if you actually have the drum set mic'd up. So that's how that's the position I used to record the camera. And, I mean, to record the drums and. Uh, it works out, works out pretty well for me, so I definitely recommend doing this if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend a thousand dollars or whatever on mic and equipment. Okay, well here is the final step, which would be step three, which is how I edit my videos. This is the most important part, because it's what, how you make videos sound good, um, and all, all that other kind of stuff. 
So as you can see here, I have one of my older videos. It's the, the Muse video, actually, the survival one. And I'm editing on a, a Mac. I'm using iMovie. But you can use any editing software you can. The only thing you really need on the editing software is to be able to, to move the sound or the video uh, in fine increments, or else you're not going to get it to match up, and then it's going to sound bad. So basically, just have to you first you, you edit it, you put in your video on the thing, uh, upload it to your computer, and then you lay the lay the song over top of the of the video clip, and then you have to move the sound move the sound of the song to match up with what you're playing on the drums. So so this matches up like I'll play it for you for a sec. It's, you can hear my drums are exactly with what the what the drummer on the actual track is playing. So. Yeah, so that's basically the main thing. Then you can, of course, on most you can go in here, audio adjustments, edit the sound levels of the ear track or the drum or the audio track of the song. So usually you have to put your drums pretty high so we can get through YouTube's filter. And so yeah, that's basically everything for editing the video. So yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's how I edit and make my videos. That's how I record them, set them up, do all the editing. So if you like what you see, please, I would love if you would rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions for a video, a uh, how-to video, or an instructional video, something you see that you want me to show, then please feel free to leave a comment or send me a message or something, and I'd be more than happy to, to make the video for you. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned a lot and take this into account when you're making your drum videos.